Music NFTs, what, where, and why? I'm Andrew Antar, and I'm the founder of Tune.fm. So what are music NFTs? Essentially, they are non-fungible tokens for music. So what does that mean exactly? So it's a verifiably scarce digital asset that can be a one of one or 10 of 10 or maybe even hundreds, but it has a unique token identifier and that can verify your, your ownership. And that ownership is then validated by distributed protocols, depending on which level one chain the NFT is minted on. And, and these unique tokens are then linked to rare high quality content that is exclusively directly put together from the artist and sold directly to the buyer, whether it's through an auction system or marketplace. And those things can also be bundled with exclusive access to, to virtual content or in real life experiences like tickets or shows or front row seats or meetings backstage, um, as well as they can be bundled with their audio um, files, as well as visual video or animation type of experiences. So in, in summary, in a world of digital abundance where everything is copy and paste and we can make a million copies of everything, digital scarcity is really the new frontier for content monetization. So different types of music NFTs can be like artist social tokens or limited releases or ticketed uh, access to live social audio experiences. And so social tokens can look like credit card reward points um, or loyalty reward points that are used to redeem unique assets and experiences. So fans can essentially invest in the artist's future and get rewarded as they grow and artists can raise funds directly from their fan base. So limited releases can take many different forms. They can be um, exclusive uh, fractional ownership or limited number of NFTs. Um, and fans can, can purchase those unique NFT assets directly from the artists. And, and NFTs can be really be limited in more ways than one, whether it's the number of tokens themselves or by time or, or different ways you have to have ownership of another token. And so even, uh, virtual tickets can be used as uh, NFTs to give access to virtual DJ rooms or actual live shows um, or open mic rooms with rewards or live ex um, performances um, in which artists can get rewarded with tokens and fans can get access with virtual tickets. So where do we find music NFTs? The NFTs themselves, there's um, platforms like Origin uh, that has drops and did one uh, with Blau, who he had 33 NFTs that netted 11.6 million, and those were bundled with exclusive access to real world experiences. But fungibility is really a spectrum. So a, a truly non-fungible token is a one of one, but there can be tens or hundreds. And social tokens can have thousands or hundreds of thousands, while fungible tokens and marketplaces that power this whole ecosystem like Jam token, for example, from Tune.fm, which is my company, um, or Hedera building their NFT um, HTS protocol. And obviously Ethereum has most of the NFTs on, on products like OpenSea and others. Um, Solana just got into it. And Origin, of course, um, is doing NFTs as well. So why now? Essentially, the music market is um, exploding after contracting for 20 years because of this digital abundance problem with Napster and LimeWire and everything. Um, and, but still artists are getting squeezed because the publishers have control and give them less than 10% of less than half a penny per play, sometimes taking over two years to get paid. And COVID has really supercharged these problems with uh, live music revenue um, really um, being hurt. So when we couple that with the crypto market that's exploding in the last two years, um, at $2 trillion and still the layer one skill with the issues with high fees. Essentially, Web3 dApps are poised to transform media through not only NFTs and social tokens for creators, but also micropayments for media consumption and tokenized rewards for live experiences. Thank you.